Hello and welcome back to Dyson's Fair Program. I'm Avon. Now in the last episode we set up the Avon Sphere. It would look a bit like this now, but we have rockets coming, so it's probably going to look like a mess in a while. Because we don't have that many rockets going. Um, but it's set up, so I guess, let's say, we have sent 822 out of 5,000. I believe one rocket brings uh, one structure point. So one of our goals now is to keep this working. And right now it isn't because of this quantum chips. So I think we're going to help that out a bit. And also, let's say we upgraded this last time, so that should help. We didn't upgrade these apparently. So let's double click those. And, and this is probably messing with some ratios. It looks like we are draining quite quickly on the magnets. So I'm just going to add a few more of those, I think. We have already added more uh, iron plates. So let's do that. I think we just add them back here, just a few. I'm not really that, uh, oh, more signs, right. Uh, I'm not that bothered by messed up ratios. So I'm just going to place them and see what happens. We're running low on supplies, I see as well. We only have uh, 100 sorters, a bit more. This one doesn't, well, I guess we can. Okay, we can spare a belt, one belt. And there we go. We also have to spare uh, a power pole. Hopefully we can hit this, but I think we can, let's see. Yes. Do we hit everything with one? Oh, good. So uh, let's also upgrade this part of the belt at least. And do, no, not the others. That's fine. Maybe, maybe this part as well, just in case. I don't think we need 30 a second, but uh, we have a lot of belts, not on us. Uh, so we need more. Let's get many, many stacks. And mm, 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 yeah, we can count here. 2.3k, that's fine. I think we're going to take all of these. 500, that's fine. So we have around 600 now. Now we have exactly 600. And then, let's see. So with our Neva Sphere, or Even Sphere, uh, we are dropping a bit. On the generation I think because sales are moving again yes and we had quite a few sales going in here as well I don't know how many 600 oh, oh no it's 600 each right yeah 600 this one is more for some reason I don't know how this uh, works completely but I guess this is uh, this is almost 2500 sales so um, the power issues might happen again, but in the last episode, didn't we, yeah, we set up or built some fusion power stations. So let's set those up just to, just, just for fun, I guess. Uh, let's say power, that would be here. And hopefully they can be that close. I can be. So this is the part of the power system I didn't want to do. Uh, but it, I do believe it's really convenient. And if we have the buildings, we can tear them down and move them later as well. And that means we can ship power. Now, later in the game, where we're actually going to do this is probably these ones artificial stars because they make make uh transmit no they burn these and convert them into 75 megawatts so that's a bit more than nine from these i think it's nine and i think these burn at yeah 
No, it doesn't say here. I think they burn at 100% uh, efficiency as well compared to the other burners that, that are 80%. Um, yeah, conversion rate is 100%. That's good. So this should set us up with, uh, how many did we place? We have four left, so we set up 11. Should be enough for, for now. So what did we want to do? We wanted to set up the, the uh, extra processors. And I think the way to do that, the simple, easy, quick way is to upgrade the buildings again. The alternative is to build another, <clears throat> sorry, another array. But I think it's worth it to just upgrade. I'm starting to feel uh, that I want to use the tier three machines, even though the power isn't uh, that efficient on them. So let's upgrade these. And then we need to look at which inputs we also need to upgrade. I do know that we need to set up more input as well, because some of it is to ratio. So that's those, and all of these needs to be as well. This is quite expensive, uh, but that's fine. So this thing is probably to ratio. It feels like it. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Eight to ten. Does that make sense? Hmm. Uh, glass is one every two seconds, so it's four every second, and two every five seconds, but 10, so four every second. Yeah, so this is set up to ratio. So we need to set up 50% more, which is four. Let's add one more, just in case. And go there. So this is, I guess, almost like a quick and dirty fix, but if we increase our production of those things by 50%, then I'm okay with a quick and dirty fix that actually fixes it. So I'm going to remove this belt because we need room for two more of these. That's 50% more. Then we need to connect this belt. Let's see how many up we need to go. Three, four, five. Oh, that's quite high. Does this work though? Yes. Did it connect as well? Yes. Okay. So simple, easy, upwards spaghetti. Oh, and we need to set it down. That was zero on the numpad to reset the belt height. So here we need to remember the filters. Uh, close belt is the uh, Graphene, graphite, graphene, I believe it's called graphene. The other one is the hydrogen. And then we need input, of course. And we, we do have enough fire eyes, so it's no, no problem supplying this. What else? I guess water. 50% uh, up, so we need two more pumps. It looks good when they align like that. <laughs> yeah, no, let's align this properly. There we go. Is that it? Let's just go through. So we might need more miners, but I don't think so. It looks <laughs> pretty, pretty safe on that. So this thing is set. Water is set. Uh, this is being imported from here. So I believe it's set because we just set these up. And that goes for this one as well, titanium ingots. This is fine. This is not fine. No, it's not because, because hydrogen, of course. But I do think we are getting a full belt in. So I actually think we need to do a separate belt for the last one. I am going to let it stay for now because it's almost covered. So that's not where I want to focus my energies. And this is what? This is from here, so that's set. 
and that brings us here with the these ones and the red chips and red chips are set so that's good now here we uh, did we yeah we, we set this up in the last episode as well um so let's do some some landfill here and set them up now um let's say i think do, do we want to set them up the same way it looks good we can do like one here to use the same belt or we can merge them in uh let's see doesn't matter Let, let's make it completely separate so i'm going to do it like this um and make a new circle of 20 but the out belt is going to be in the middle just to be a bit confusing so that's done and then we have the out belt going let's see oh this is messed up i guess we need to power this so it's fine like that so our mistake made us save a tile happy mistake so i guess we just pull it out here uh, so here then we go on the other side this was our plan in the previous episode um but we can't do everything all at once that's it right so let's set the belts on these belts out setting those are much like setting inserters to be honest although a bit cheaper i believe i don't know belts are quite expensive not that it matters there we go and is this the end push belt i think it is so because these don't output that much so how about we just merge it here oh but it's no uh i was going to say it's on the second floor but we can do we can do second floor insertage of that that's actually perfect because then we can then we can uh, do second floor exiting here as well which is actually needed good so we loop it that way so we prioritize the here it's nice that you can squiggle that around to find out where it goes specifically and then we belt now this should add some green lenses that's nice because our our green lenses are maybe maybe something we want to use for the ray receivers as well especially to make the photon parts we need for um the next science so have we forgot to make the full loop here this is a bit cleaner than this one i think i like the pointing in instead of pointing out setup so if i were to make a blueprint for this that's what i would do but since we don't have blueprints uh, that's not something i'm going to do i guess that was the most obvious thing ever and here we go trying to align there okay so i guess we oh and and um i had a comment uh, i don't have enough of these so i'm going to set up the two others now I'm, I'm just going to make sure i did it wrong so these need one every 10 seconds and these make one every eight seconds so how many one two three four five 
six machines means one every second. To make one every second, we need eight machines of these. That's a, yeah, that was easier. So let's set up that. If we align them here, slightly misaligned, because they only have three inputs. So it needs to be slightly misaligned to be able to fit all of the inserters. And here we go. I think we should have enough power for this, considering we are also using the nuclear now. The deterrent fuel rods in... In... Uh, let's see. Up one, uh, one is enough, right? Yes. Um, in our nuclear power plant, so power should be fine. That was what I was trying to say before. So, we have um, much particle colliding going on now, so that should help out a bit. I guess that's bad because it, that will make us eat all the quantum chips and use it for science. But science is good. So, I think everything is set here for now. Uh, we might do something with hydrogen here, but I think that's probably something that it takes time to make so we might as well make a new array but I might do it just because it's it's clean and it's nice to have it's nice to have everything working as it should so that's one let's see I'm just doing some shopping uh, do we I, mm, oh yeah let's let's get 20 of these because I might go and set them up uh, right now. So this is fine. This is good. We are fine on these as well. Whoop. Do we bring? No. So we are firing and launching all of the rockets. That's good. We are doing fine on on not silicon that was the thing of course we want our rockets to be uh the, the whole process to be quite smooth here so we need to go to our tidal locked planet to mine more silicon or at least ship the extra silicon we get i wonder if we need to upgrade this as well but we'll notice when when we fall below do we need more do we need more fuel rods no, it seems like this thing can cover everything. I thought I set it up to ratio. So that might, it might all work because we aren't making rockets all the time. So we have to keep track of that. I'm going to increase this one a bit because I don't want us to run out so we don't have fuel for the mech. I'm going to take some of these. I got scared now. And also, also, uh, yeah, we should check on the science. I guess this is like the janitor episode, or one of them. So, purple is doing fine, oh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, let's check properly. Yeah, it's doing fine. All of them are running. And. Uh, the other part is these, and of course we have enough of those. So here we don't have enough lenses, but we did try to help out with the lenses just now. So uh, let's see how that goes. This is fine. Ish. Maybe we can cut down a bit on spendage here. So if if we do we have room yeah so we go we go here I uh, don't need that many 3k let's request them locally because we have an import station and then let's see we go here and not there because we want priority so we go here instead so this way, the um, imported, well, already here, that's quick. 
So now all of this will just freeze and stay idle, which is good. Saves us some power as well. Oh, and here they come. So, do we spend our time today with setting up silicon? I think we do because we want we want the rockets to work because we want our not the Neva, but the Avon Sphere to be to be complete because right now it looks a bit messed up. Actually, it looks quite nice. I like it. Um, so we do want more generation though, because the next part is photon receivers, and those eat power. Uh, for breakfast, well, for breakfast, dinner, and the second breakfast at least. So let's check that we have things. Well, we do have warpers. So. What was the other thing? I don't remember. Let's warp right away. I don't think this travel bit should take a very long time. So uh, I don't think it is a big problem to just jump between. It takes, what, 15 seconds of travel time? Maybe 20. And I'm just talking all the time anyway, so I can talk while traveling. I have no idea what to say now. The pressure is on. So when we get there, uh, this... Oh, did did we bring stuff? I didn't check. We have a few smelters. Yeah, we can do one smelting column. That's fine. We have belts and inserters. Ooh. Uh, let's see. And, and uh, number three. No, yeah, number three. I was told that you can crash into planets. Uh, so thank you for that one, JC, because you can even do it uh, in the same system. Whoop. There we go. That's beautiful. So uh, I like to do that. And then you end up in a quite wide loop. This is where we're going, actually. But I think we're going to check up here first. So that's a very quick way to land instead of leaving warp space like I've done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this belt. Can can I grab it from there? Let's see. Yes. And then I'm going to bring it uh, all the way up. So I guess, let's see. <laughs> it's so awkward with the whole. I guess this is fine. And then we align it here. Go down to flat and in. This is a priority system. So processors first, but I think, oh, we are actually not at 10K. I don't know. I think we are making more than we are spending, but if not, this doesn't hurt. This is just extra belt. Yeah, we're letting some go at least. So, because this is to ratio, we don't need a buffer on the belt. They should all just run. And if they don't pick up anything, it moves on. So, we did fly past to... Yeah, so, so let's set up a smelting ray down here as well. So we can... So we can ship out some. Uh, but we, we want to... We want to use the smelters first because it converts two to one. So, how many? We had 34. 34. So that means 14 left. No, four left. And here we go. Maybe this should have been done in God mode, but I guess I placed them fast enough for it to not be worth it. I don't know. I wish there was a key bind toggle. So that's 30. And we need a belt, an in belt going here. And an out belt going here. Mm, yes, there. And then we need to set up the miners, hopefully we have 
a few, we had more than a few. So let's just overkill it and uh, call it a day. Uh, but also try to mine all of the nodes at least once. I think this should be a full belt. Do we want to connect this as well? Mm, maybe. Oh, we, we should also connect um, the transportation. So I guess here and electricity or power pole there. So we start charging. I guess it doesn't matter if we start now. Or... Uh, good. So either we have to ship a few space warpers down here. I'm okay with that. So let's add one of these. And warpers there. We only need 100 is fine. Local demand. So this is probably one of those places we can do the minimum load. Do I care? Let's check if the other one has drones. It doesn't. Yeah, so, so let's set the minimum load. It's 100, goes down to 50, and let's do 10. Oh, 100 is the minimum, okay. Let's do 10 anyway, because then it won't go to 200, it would go to 110. Or it's minimum load. I mean, this is good because if it goes to pick up 10, we know. If it goes to pick up another 100, it will be quite pointless, which it is. So, boop. It, because we will always have more than that up there. If not, something is seriously wrong. So, uh, let's just loop this down. And up again, and over, down, up again, over, and up. So we connect all of these. What we should have done was bring some solar panels. Mm, it's fine. So we connect all of the ins and all of the outs, but first the ins, let's see. So we have just let the uh, science run this, this episode, and I think that's fine. We are getting the logistic bot speed, uh, which should mean that we need, do we need fewer? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for, oh, I was thinking maybe it makes them use less power, but I don't think they do. Maybe they use more because they have stronger engines, but probably not. It's probably quite, quite the same. I wonder if it affects the warp speed. Uh, for now, it doesn't matter much though. They have a good capacity. So this is it. You have this. Now that I think about it, we probably don't need warpers there at all. Let's see when I connect, because uh, let's see here. And we probably want all 10K, that's fine. Here, so one. <laughs> I misaligned the inserters, so it's messing with my power pole placement a bit. Uh, but nah, it's fine. It's completely fine. There we go. That looks good, actually. Uh, it would look even better if they had power. So, 100% satisfaction, and that's with this one using 16 something megawatts. But I can't really check if this one is happy 
uh, like do we request from a place that already has warpers i don't know so i'm going to i'm going to let this place supply it itself because i do think the power here is very steady well it's it's <laughs> it's completely steady so as long as as long as this won't eat this much power which i don't think it will it's fine so now that we have sorted that um are we oh and now we actually are set on processors ah so we got to see this in action then no we didn't because they aren't full up yet they will be soon so we are done here it's time to head head home again to home to corona and here we go that was a deeper sigh than i planned on <laughs> you know the times the times so what have we done now we have fixed we have fixed uh i never landed in that system with the bright star but yeah we have fixed the um um silicon we should produce more than we spend now we added 15 a second which is like 900 a minute so that should be good we added processors and we added the um uh, what, what did we, uh, the lenses yes so we should get more science now this is going to be a bit rough i think because yeah, oh is this the planet let's try no that's the gas giant oh let's jump out okay I didn't see the planet there it is yeah so I <laughs> I didn't want to land on the gas planets but that wouldn't matter much so here we go now I'm going to turn off the the what's it called the planes distribution so how are you doing you are doing fine because you don't have power in your output good fixed before end of episode always nice we have enough to no yeah we might not because this hasn't been running but i think we have enough we uh have enough of everything here so it always a bit is not working that's good how are we doing on the uh, i guess the silicon takes a moment to update all over the universe but i'm still going to check on our rockets are launching that's good something is bad though um let's see silicon okay which is incoming i'm going to add a few more of these because if these are being shipped from outer space no, from a different solar system it might take a while uh, so it's better to increase a bit there i think what else uh, i think we are starting to get there uh, so what we need now is the sphere to keep building it is doing quite well though let's check our uh, rockets 15 rockets in 10 minutes that's like one rocket a minute one and a half well one and a half wasn't really difficult numbers <laughs> um so it might take a second to get all of this going and we need to keep track of titanium alloy let's check right away yeah we don't have enough so that's something we also need to fix apparently and to do that we need more smelters 
which would be here. Let's bring a hundred of them. Do we need more from them all while we're at it? Don't think we're going to use much fusion now. No. Mm. While we are here, but we don't need to really. Storage is fine. Production is more than fine. We can get rid of um we can get rid of these. Do wait. Keeping one stack. We might want to use them. And this is fine. We have one collider for the uh, neutron thing. Oh, and let's, uh, while we're at it, let's quickly check the, yeah, we don't have enough production here either. So this is definitely, definitely a good episode to fill all of the uh, bottlenecks. So that's where I'm going to go after I've been to this one. I'm going to try this now. Let's try to warp to this one and see how fast it is. And if I overshoot, then... Oh, it's it's a bit hard to aim. Oh no, it's fine. Nice. So, we are so far up now, it should be easy... Well, very easy to find because we are basically right there. Right where we had to be. So, I guess we need to add these. So, uh, hmm. oh, and I guess we need to add more here. Let's quickly check this uh, on the ratios. So, you need, I think it's ratio perfect, but I don't remember. One every three seconds, and this is one every three seconds. Yeah, so, so it's the same amount, so we need to we need to expand this as well. So, how many do we have here? We have six. So, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I think that's fine. So, double. One, two, three, and four. That's awkward. We can put two more. Yes, and we don't have to move belts. So spending time to rearrange machines is apparently better use time than rearranging belts. There we go. Of course that <laughs> one sorter is outside. It's always like that. So that's double up here, but we need to rearrange that belt to go here. Okay, then we need this belt and this belt. And are we happy with this? I think we are. So let's do the inputs and the outputs. And afterwards, we set up the steel. And I need to learn to not place. Uh, these before oh no it was this one so it's fine okay so we need to double up on this as well so let's uh, let's see six of them one two three four five six and this oh copy Paste, 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 and paste. Good. So this belt looks wrong now. I'm going to bring it all the way here. Hopefully we have enough mining. There is not too much iron on this planet, I think, if I remember it correctly. 19, oh. It's full of iron. Okay, so this is great. Here we go. Four and five. I need to remember to set the 
three. Where are these? No, too close. Need a valid. Oh, yeah, I was going to copy and not place. Well, I guess it looks better when there's some breathing room. But three a second, they should move at six. So it is. No, yeah, it is correct. Uh, in the very beginning, when I started playing the game, uh, I didn't like it because the tier one tier ones are so slow. So what I did was I put two belts like this, and then I did out six trips a second and in six trips a second. So that that doubles the speed, but it also doubles the number of of um, inserters needed. So it's I don't think it's more efficient than just building two. It's around the same. But anyway, here we just need one. So that was me just thinking out loud. Uh, here we go. And then this one goes there and we need the belt here. So this doubled up our production. And I think that should be enough. It is a, I was going to say it is a bit hard to say, but I don't think it is because when this has been running for a few minutes, I'm going to mark it actually. Uh, titanium alloy is in the number two. That's the stuff to keep track of. And right now, uh, I guess we could do the numbers actually. Consumption 200 a minute. Or I guess we need to connect this. Oh, I'm glad I didn't leave the planet and forgot. So, here. So it's, it's a bit hard to gauge. It's a bit hard to gauge the need sometimes. But I guess I could look at the numbers, but that would be an extremely uh, uninteresting thing for me to like looking through my arrays, I think. So I like this way of building and if, if I need more, I'm going to double it up, I think. But I think it will buffer and I will check in a while. So now we need to get to the gas giant getting all the things oh whoa, whoa a planet that was a sneaky planet i didn't see it coming so let's warp yeah i can get lazy like this this is nice zooming through the system we landed in a decent spot as well or i guess yeah decent spot so I think, I think I, oh, I think I have enough of the uh, orbital collectors now to get all the way around. So, uh, last place, yes. So we don't have to. Uh, what I'm trying to say. So we never have to do anything here again. But if we suddenly need more, we need to stop the burning or slow down the burning, or we need to mine from a different star system. Because after filling the equator like this, I don't think we can get any more from a gas giant. Uh, but I think by increasing mining productivity, you increase mining from gas giants as well. Hopefully we have enough. I only brought 20. Uh, but but hopefully that's fine. Oh, I'm, I'm moving way too fast now. I think I'm leaving the construction bots behind. So, yeah. So when I place the new one, I don't have a bot on me to actually go place it. 
Yeah, there, there's some serious bot cruelty going on. Uh oh. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully the bots are understanding bots. So, so we don't have ha hear any talk talk about unionizing because that would be bad. Uh, anyway, yeah, sorry, uh, unionizing isn't bad. I'm not trying to be. I'm trying to be silly. Yeah, that was. Um, <laughs> yeah, unionizing construction bots. It would be fun. That would be, I guess, a bit of Stellaris, where you have to manage factions and stuff. I'm not sure if this would be the correct game, but there we go. So we have a belt of <laughs> orbital collectors. That's cool. So this is this is also uh, a nice way to see why why um uh what am i trying to say why solar panels always work when they're at the pole because as we see here even if we are as far as, as far away as possible we can see all of them so that means if if the world rotated clockwise which it is now we can still always see them. So if, if, uh, uh, yeah, I, I guess that is enough explanation there. Uh, but that's, that's basically how it functions because they are so tall compared to the tiny gas giant. Oh, there we go. So where is our planet now? On the opposite side? No, on this side? Yes. Oh, it's actually... Yeah, here we go. Nice. So we have fixed all the things. And that makes me very happy because... Uh, this is our building now. And our generation capacity will just go up and up and up now. Unless I, for some reason, decide to tear down down this, I kind of want to because it doesn't fit my Avon sphere. But I'm going to keep it there for now. And this is a bit like eh. So how can we fix that quickly? I guess we. Oh. So if we do. This belt is barely moving, right? So if we do input priority there, everything to, to not have to place a new thing. So then we go up one. Then we delete the parable. Parable wasn't needed anyway. Okay. So we go up one. Yeah, this works. Then we go in here. Hashtag spaghetti. And then back. Let's see, do we want to merge in the middle? No, we, we just go the opposite way here. So I guess it can supply every one but the last one. Let's check. I'm going to try to just to just give the new one to the last one, the, the new supply to the last one. And to be just to make sure we have um, the output priority going here. So it is prioritizing the deuterium, uh, but when it can, it ships it down here and apparently this belt needs to be one longer yeah okay so what we want to make completely sure about now is that why 
right now that we want to see why uh, it's that one <laughs> this is such a betrayal when uh, when the uh, insurgents decide that nope I'm going to stay out of the power field I'm going to sneakily hide here and not let you notice it until well at least I noticed in the same episode I guess because then people won't have to comment on it although I do appreciate comments so <laughs> so I guess this is detrimental to my YouTube channel but anyway even if there is nothing to correct because I play so extremely well and my factory is absolutely perfect I am very appreciative of comments anyway and and yes that was sarcasm I am joking because I know this is nowhere near perfect uh, but yeah I, I do appreciate comments and subscriptions and everything because it it matters it really matters right now it seems fine but it's not stacking up here so we might have to look into that but I'm looking at the time and this episode is really really uh, running away with all of the all of the time I guess yes so how do we do this maybe maybe no I'm going to let it stay like this and if we ever see a yellow dot then I'm going to move the, oh, why am I not be moving the belt right now though oh yellow dot okay move the belt boop not not move it that far maybe yeah, it's nice to have this sorted and I'm not sure why I was so opposed to just having this belt go here. I guess it's because I feel like it's it's this place's belt, but they can share. Belts are nice. So, uh, that's it. We cleaned up everything. We fixed everything in the whole world, it feels like. So, I guess from here on we can we can advance and make stuff because we we also fixed power so we can actually afford having some of the photon photon things being made photons yes but we are going to turn them into antimatter but the the photons can be made with this current power and that's really nice so the issue now is apparently quantum chips and and that's understandable because that is going to be the bottleneck we, we can't make that many of them but we have a decent amount of science so maybe I limit the buffer a bit on this when we are getting to a place where we feel like we have all of the science uh, but for now, I think we're going to keep it up because we need a couple of upgrades still. Uh, yeah, we need a couple of upgrades still. So I'm going to limit it uh, when that's done. So, uh, oh, I'm going to point at my spaghetti now while exiting the episode. That would be here. Oh, this is nice. Yes. So thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed the spaghetti. Bye bye.